taking mom to Slovenia, I knew would be an extraordinary trip, something that would not just continue to bind us as a family, but to learn about where she was born and raised and the circumstances around her childhood. Um, it, it, I just thought it was one of the best trips ever. Taking my mom back to Slovenia was a time and an experience I'll never forget. It brought me such joy to be with her, to go back with her, and to actually walk the streets in the neighborhood, um, the house she was born in, go visit relatives with her, and really get a feel and understanding of what her life was like when she was a little girl growing up in Slovenia. Slovenia is absolutely beautiful like your daughter and you and uh, so it was just fantastic to see the landscapes and everything but just to be with all the family and to be around all the Slovenian language that I didn't understand but I knew something was going on. She was extremely excited. I think she was a little anxious and maybe even a little nervous but once she got there she was so excited and I could see the joy in her eyes every single day just her face constantly lit up and she was just overjoyed to be there. The family burial plots in Slovenia are some of the most beautiful cemeteries I've ever seen in my life. We don't care for the grave the way Slovenians do. Immediately just all these emotions uh, filled up inside of her and you knew and you could see how much she loves her family and how devoted she is to being the best she can be. It just made me appreciate my own heritage, my own family. I got emotional as well. It was very powerful. I think it also stirred up a lot of emotions about how much she just misses everyone. Um, my mom's parents are both deceased and her brothers are gone. I think she really felt their spirit and they were with her at that time just a lot of wonderful emotions. I was fortunate to walk with her. As she took a walk kind of by herself going into Tisovich, um, which I imagine must have been really sobering because the last time she was there, it was a communist country. I'll never forget that moment. It was so beautiful. After seeing so many relatives after so many years brought her such joy, she was anticipating what it was going to feel like and I, I think that feeling was more joyful than ever that she could ever imagine. Everyone embraced her with open arms and loved on her so much. Um, I know she needed that and she wanted that and everything she got um, I think she prayed for and happened. So it was just a beautiful time for her and I know also for all the family members. They. Uh, they missed her, and for me to witness that and to be there with her was just incredible. I'll go with her anywhere in the world. Anywhere she wants to go, I will take her because taking mom is one of the best things in the world. What I learned from this trip more than ever is how much I love my family and my heritage. My mom is an amazing lady that I just love so much. She's, she's honest, she's hardworking, she'll give you the shirt off her back. She's loyal, she's devoted, she loves God, and she loves her family. And it's clear that she will do anything and everything for them regardless of how they treat her. The memories that we made together were beyond beautiful and I'll cherish them forever. I fell in love even more with my Slovenian family. I'm so proud of the heritage that I am married into. I care deeply about not just the living but all of our Slovenian ancestors. I know that we'll be reunited with them and I know that they're fully aware of us and this world and that world bridges. I just am so grateful that I have a family like Tina in Slovenia. Going and doing genealogy in Ljubljana was 
just an incredible experience. One, to be able to actually go into the archives and just touch those books, those, those pages that were handwritten by family members and just to see their records um, right in front of me was extraordinary. Uh, just an opportunity I don't think too many people get to do in their lifetime. And again, to be able to do that with my husband, Paul, and to do that with my mother was an incredible experience. What can I say, Mom, except I love you so much. You've always been there for me. You're a strong, strong woman. And I love that your heart is so pure and you're so kind and you're loyal. And I am today who I am because of you. I love you, Mom. I'm ready to go to as many tribe games as we possibly can. Uh, travel anywhere you want to, but most of all, it's just fun to just sit in that chair next to you in your home and talk to you and laugh. I love you uh, more than you'll ever know. Love you, Mom.